Ever wondered if karma plays a role in football? Well, let's embark on this fascinating journey, shall we? Karma, a concept deeply rooted in various philosophies, is believed to be the cosmic principle according to which each person is rewarded or punished in one incarnation depending on that person's deeds in a previous incarnation. But could it be possible that this principle extends to the football pitch? Imagine a world where every foul, every dive, every unsportsmanlike conduct is swiftly met with an equal, if not greater, cosmic justice. A world where the universe itself becomes the referee. Intriguing, isn't it? Over the years, there have been numerous instances that have made fans around the globe wonder if karma truly has a place in football. Instances where the scales of justice seem to balance themselves out in a way that's almost poetic. So are you ready to explore this fascinating side of the beautiful game? Stay tuned as we delve into some of the most unforgettable karma moments in football. First up, we're taking you back to the 80s. Ah, the 80s, a time of neon colors, big hair, and some of the most memorable moments in football history. One such moment stands out, where the hand of karma intervened in a way that's still talked about today. Picture this. The match was in full swing. The players were giving it their all, the crowd was on the edge of their seats, and the stakes were high. One team was on the verge of scoring, their striker racing towards the goal. Then out of nowhere, an opposing player in a desperate attempt to prevent the goal, blatantly used his hand to deflect the ball. The crowd gasped, the players on the field protested, but the referee somehow missed the handball. The player's dishonest move resulted in a goal for his team. The crowd erupted in boos, the injustice of the moment hanging heavy in the air. But as we know, in football, as in life, karma has a way of evening the score. The game continued and the player who had handled the ball was riding high on his ill-gotten success. Little did he know, karma was about to make its move. As the match neared its conclusion, the player found himself in a similar situation. This time, his team was under threat. The opposing team striker was charging towards the goal, the ball at his feet. The player tried to intercept, but in a twist of fate, he stumbled, lost his footing and watched in horror as the ball sailed past him into the net. His team lost the match. The player's earlier triumph turned into a bitter defeat. His blatant handball had won him a fleeting moment of glory, but ultimately, it cost his team the game. The crowd roared, this time in approval. The scales of justice had been balanced on the football pitch. In the end, karma ensured justice was served on the pitch. Fast forward to the 2000s, a decade known for its fair share of football dramas. In this scene we delve into a moment that perfectly encapsulates the spirit of karma in football. Picture this, the game is at a critical juncture, the air is thick with tension, and a penalty kick could decide the fate of the match. The penalty taker, a player known for his brash attitude and audacious displays, had previously taunted the opposition. A classic case of pride before the fall. Our protagonist, let's call him Player A, was known for his unshakable confidence. He was the embodiment of bravado, an icon of audacity, and he had a knack for getting under the skin of his opponents. This particular game was no different. Throughout the match, Player A taunted his rivals, his cocky grin and provocative gestures adding fuel to the competitive fire. As the match neared its end, a penalty was awarded to Player A's team. The crowd held their breath, the spotlight was on Player A. He strutted to the penalty spot, his swagger as pronounced as ever. The opposition goalkeeper was his adversary, the net his target. The referee's whistle pierced the silence and Player A charged. His run-up was confident, his strike was strong, but the football gods had other plans. In a twist of fate, his shot went soaring over the crossbar, the crowd gasped, the opposition cheered, and Player A was left standing in disbelief. His audacity, it seemed, had cost him dearly. That miss, that crucial penalty miss, not only cost his team the match, but also served as a humble pie for Player A. His taunts, his provocations, they all came back to haunt him in that moment. Karma, it appears, has a sense of humor, and it certainly doesn't appreciate arrogance. This incident was a stark reminder to players worldwide. Respect the game, respect your opponents, because karma is always watching, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Player A's infamous penalty miss is now etched in football history, a testament to the consequences of overconfidence and disrespect. A clear-cut case of karma, wouldn't you say? Wouldn't. Now, let's move on to a memorable match from the 2010s. Picture this. It's a sunny Saturday afternoon in the heart of the 2010s. The stadium is buzzing with anticipation, the kind that only a high-stakes football match can bring. 
A player, let's call him John, has been showing off his skills, his deft footwork making the crowd cheer in delight. But then, as if a dark cloud suddenly cast its shadow over the field, a whistle pierces the noise. The referee reaches into his pocket and pulls out a red card. John stands frozen, disbelief etched on his face. He'd been playing fair, he'd been playing well, but now he was being sent off, unjustly red carded for a foul he didn't commit. The cheer of the crowd turns into a collective gasp. The game it seemed was over for John and his team, but here's where the beauty of football comes into play. Despite losing one of their key players, the team didn't lose hope. They rallied, they strategized, and they played on, their determination unwavering. Every pass, every tackle, every shot on goal was a testament to their resilience. They were a player down, but they weren't out. The opposing team, confident of their impending victory, became complacent. They underestimated the tenacity of a team fighting against the odds, and that was their downfall. With a swift counterattack and a brilliantly executed goal, John's team turned the tables. The crowd erupted into cheers, their faith in the team restored. The unjust red card, which should have been the team's downfall, became their redemption. In a stunning twist of fate, they won the match, proving that sometimes adversity can bring out the best in us. It was a classic case of karma in football. Even when the odds were stacked against them, karma found a way. As we've seen, karma has a funny way of making its presence felt on the football pitch. It swoops in when least expected, turning the tables and sometimes even the scores. The beautiful game of football, while primarily a stage for skill, strategy, and athleticism, evidently also serves as an arena for karma's unpredictable play. Let's take a moment to recap the prime examples of karma moments we've delved into today. Our first stop was the hand of karma. It's a reminder that while a sneaky handball might slip past the referee, it doesn't always escape the universe's notice. The game has a funny way of evening out the score, be it through a missed goal or an unexpected defeat. Then we explored the penalty miss, a moment that can both thrill and chill, depending on which side of the pitch you're on. It's a high-stakes situation wherein a player may choose to overstep sportsmanship for a chance at glory. But as we've seen, karma has a knack for intervening, ensuring that such moments of hubris often end in a miss that resonates far beyond the stadium. Our journey through these karma moments brought us to the red card redemption. A player, sent off the field with a red card, leaves his team in a bind, but sometimes the universe steps in to even the odds, leading to an underdog victory that leaves spectators in awe. A red card might seem like a game ender, but in the world of football, it can be the beginning of a karma-fueled comeback. These instances remind us that football isn't just about the players or the tactics, it's about the moments that defy logic, the twists that no one sees coming. The universe, it seems, has its own playbook and it doesn't always align with ours. While we revel in the skill and strategy of the game, let's not forget the role of karma in these unforgettable moments. It's the unseen force that adds an extra layer of excitement to the match, the unpredictable element that keeps us on the edge of our seats. So the next time you're watching a game, keep an eye out for those karma moments. You never know when they might strike. Whether it's a player's overconfidence leading to a spectacular miss, a controversial handball followed by a twist of fate, or a red-carded team pulling off an improbable victory, these are the moments that make football truly thrilling. They serve as a reminder that the universe is watching and occasionally, it likes to have the last laugh. So, let's raise a toast to those karma moments, the unpredictable undercurrents that make the beautiful game even more enchanting. Here's to the unexpected, the inexplicable, and the utterly unforgettable. Because, after all, that's what makes football the game we all love. So the next time you're watching a game, keep an eye out for those karma moments. You never know when they might strike.